do some surprising choices. I'm completely with EJ on that, and I think if you're a progressive, a liberal these days in the church, you're hoping for like a Felix Frankfurter to surprise FDR or an Earl Warren to surprise <laughs> yeah. us. Because you got to bet for a surprise because there aren't any liberal frontrunners. But I want to get back to, just like in the United States when we vote, it's who votes that matters. If you don't vote, you don't count. In the College of Cardinals, 28 of the voters are Italian. Start with that. 62 are European, which is already a majority of the electors who actually vote. And 67 were personally picked by Benedict. Don't think think that won't matter. 67, a strong majority, were picked by the current pope. And when he signals, which he will, who his favorite is, it's going to really matter. I agree with EJ, and I love doing this, by the way. It's more fun than anything I've done lately with EJ <laughs> to try to figure this thing out. It's a horse race, and we're the doing horse, horse race, race. race. politics. But here's the question. If there's an early big vote, obviously, for Scola, he's going to win. But if it does show weakness, and he's, oh, not another 71-year-old guy, a friend's a Ratzinger, another one of these setups. We want an open vote here. We want to take a couple weeks. If they really want to think about it and perhaps take on some doctrinal questions as they do it implicitly. I think it could go to somebody else, but I don't see any big liberal out there who's really got uh, that kind of challenge to, uh, to Scola right now. Lee, Lee, I By the way, one other thing about this electorate uh, is that they all know each other. It's like an election in a small town. It is quite, uh, it is so quite very literally personal a gentleman's club, yes. Right, <laughs> so personal relationships are really going to matter in this. It's like our original electoral college a little bit. Way uh, back God, I love this stuff. You know, uh, I H I, it's what I teach my kids about school elections when they finally start listening to me. I said, it all comes <laughs> down to one, two, three, four. You get your ones locked in. You call your best friends and say, I know you're going to vote for me, but I'm asking you to vote for me. Then you go to the twos and say, i got to make a little bit of a pitch to these people. So I go a little bit of the pitch. And then you go to the undecideds when you're finally finished with the people you've locked in and won the damn thing. And then you go to the undecideds to make an effort. And you never talk to the fours because you don't want to enlighten them. You don't want to excite them. So it's all about domestic politics and who you know, locking in your base early. I know you can't do this overtly, but there must be ways to do it in the College of Cardinals.